One of the things that we're going to be thinking about this Advent season is how our lives are meant to be different uh, because of Jesus coming. As followers of Jesus, our lives aren't meant to stay the same or look the same as everyone else's. But we're called to a life of continuing transformation, continuing hope. So one of the things that we're going to do together as a Trinity family is uh, take some time in our own individual homes to work through this uh, chart. This is a, a chart that evaluates four major priorities in our lives. The first one is, is Jesus. Uh, it asks you to evaluate whether you have a personal, a growing, a healthy relationship with Jesus. Simply ask the question, how is your relationship with Jesus today? Not what you want it to be or what it once was, but, but where are you with your walk, your faith with Jesus today? The second category here is uh, the Bible. Are you in a regular habit of reading the Bible? Again, not you hope to be or you once were, but Today, look at today. Have you spent time in God's word today? The third category is out of the church. Are you actively involved in the life and the ministry and the work that goes on here at Trinity? And fourthly, the category called neighbor. Do you live out your faith daily? Do you share your faith? Do you talk about Jesus with your friends, your family, your neighbors? It's evangelism. Are you sharing your faith? And so for each of those four categories, I invite you to do this uh, individually, but but together with your family or spouse is important and give yourself a, a rating in each of these categories. Maybe, yeah, I'm not real strong in my my relationship with Jesus right now. I, I don't really read the Bible much. I'm, I'm pretty committed to the church, though. I don't really... I, talk much about Jesus. So what you do is take a, a look at some of these categories and choose one of the lowest rated categories, uh, maybe reading the Bible or spending time in the word or talking to the neighbor in, in this example. So then you would move on. We'll, we'll look at uh, neighbor, the neighbor category here. Then you'd move on and fill out the rest of this row here. Uh, the next one asks, what should you remove to make this a priority in your life? Because uh, I know it's not realistic just to keep adding things to life. What's one thing that you will commit to remove, even for this month of Advent, to make space for sharing Jesus with your neighbor a priority? So you'd write that down. Uh, it, it's totally up to you what works for you and your family, what you sense God is leading you. Uh, telling you to do. Uh, and then the next column is what will you add? What will you do different? How can you, what's one realistic thing that you can do to make your neighbor, make those around you a greater priority in your life? It might be uh, invite someone to church or uh, have them over for supper and and you know get to know them talk about your faith with them set a deadline it might be good to set your deadline as christmas or you know whatever other deadline you have the last column is tell how are you going to be accountable choose someone in your life uh, in the church to tell this is my plan this is what i'm doing have them ask you questions later how's it going how did you do that how how did you live out uh, you know, that, that category, you're loving your neighbor there. Okay. So I encourage each of us to do that, uh, this Advent season, uh, you'll get this on the first Sunday in Advent and, uh, just take some time considering how your life looks different because Jesus is came and is a part of it.